Good afternoon. Today we're going to talk to you about our temperature lab. So our temperature lab, we're going to look at taking a couple of different types of measurements. We're going to look at steady state measurements as well as transient measurements. And then we're going to look at three different types of temperature measurement techniques. Two different types of thermocouples, an RTD, and a thermistor. Okay, so what we're going to be measuring here is um, a range of liquids ranging from our alcohol, which is below um, zero degrees centigrade, and then a variety of uh, water baths and hot plates with pans with distilled water in them at various temperatures up to boiling. And then we have our final pan up here, which has cooking oil in it above the boiling point of the water. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at how we actually physically wire up our thermocouples, specifically in the context of having one thermocouple as a measurement and one thermocouple as a reference. So in order to use the thermocouple when a reference, we actually need two thermocouples so that we have two junctions. So if we look at the thermocouple, there's a positive and a negative material, right? The thermocouple is two dissimilar metals. So we have to be careful about how we wire those. So if we look, we've got a positive terminal and we have a negative terminal. If we look right here, positive and negative. And then when we have connection, we want to make sure it's the negatives to the negative, the positives to the positive. So our red wire is wired into our positive terminal. Our black wire is wired into our negative terminal. So the black wire associated with the negative terminal is also going to be wired into the black wire associated with the negative terminal on the other thermocouple. And then we have a red wire that's also leaving the positive terminal there. So at this point, we have these two thermocouples that are wired together into two different junctions. So the multimeter can't distinguish between which one is the reference and which one is the positive or which one's the, the measurement junction. We have to do that by which one we connect to the positive terminal of the multimeter ourselves. So whichever lead wire is connected to the positive terminal, the thermocouple that's associated with that becomes our measurement junction. And whichever thermocouple's lead wire is connected to the common terminal of the multimeter, that becomes our reference junction. So in this scenario, if this was the positive to the positive of the multimeter, this would be our measurement junction, while the other multimeter would be our reference junction. When we look at our thermistor, it's nothing more than a large resistor and is simply a positive and negative terminal. Same way we're going to wire that directly into our data acquisition module and just purely read out a resistance measurement. When we look at our RTD, we have a three wire measurement. So we have our positive and negative leads just like we would have before, but we have the third wire that is in place simply to be lead wire compensation and account for any resistance in the wiring itself.